A few years ago, Sebastian Smee, the Pulitzer Prize winning arts critic, reviewed a show at the Norman Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Actually, his review focused more on the mutual hostility between conservatives and progressives than the show itself. It's a brilliant, thought-provoking, and timely review. The review ends with, what we do need, and I don't know how to make this sound other than toxically bland, is a willingness to admit complication. We need, in politics, to be able to see virtue in conservative values, there is so much worth conserving, even as we recognize the need to change, to improve, to move on. In art, in the same way, we should be able, if we please, to admire both Rockwell and Pollock, both Andy Wyeth and Andy Warhol. I'm not calling for indiscriminate love and acceptance, just a willingness to value honesty over ideology and subtle distinctions over group think. Which brings us to this photo. Visually, the actor and stage are eye-catching, and the complementary details add interest. Note how the red, white, and blue backpack and green handlebar tape mirror the flags and grass. What most interests me, however, is the symbolism of the progressive cyclist resolutely cycling through a conservative sea of nostalgia and patriotism. One looking to the future, one memorializing the past two radically different views of how to make America great. I don't know if today's political climate is more contentious or polarizing than previous generations, but I think Mr. Smee may be onto something.